Hey guys, how you doing tonight? I know, another low-key video. Listen, a lot of things have been happening, things that I thought that I would sit here and talk to you guys about, like that I have decided to, um, obviously as you would be able to see, I've rebranded my channel, so instead of having my full name um, as the channel, both on my, well not both, but on my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter and my YouTube, I've changed it from my full name to Yana yeah, Beauty. Um, and I thought I'd have a little bit of a discussion with you why I decided to change that, but also that my ColourPop order, well, mine and my cousin's ColourPop order arrived, so I thought I'd show you that. And just let you guys know sort of like what's been going on and where I'm at and um, if you're interested. So, um, yeah. If you're interested in knowing uh, what's going on in my life and what's going on in the channel, stay tuned. So obviously you can see for yourself by the little logo in the channel that um, I have changed it to Yenna Beauty. And I've been thinking about this for such a long time, like, I mean I've got currently 48 subscribers, which in the scheme of things is really really small in comparison to some big ones. But I was thinking about it and beforehand when it was just my channel and I was just browsing, you know, other videos to watch for myself, I didn't mind it being my name, I really didn't think about it too much. And um, although you're going to be able to see my name in old videos and everything like that, that's not the big deal. I just thought that, <sighs> I like the ring to it a little bit, you know. Um, yeah, I mean I don't particularly want to be um, a big sort of beauty guru or anything like that. I don't foresee that sort of thing. I just really enjoy doing these videos for myself and for you guys as well. If you can get something out of it then great because the last thing that any of us need to do is blow hundreds of dollars on beauty or um, any sort of um, you know facial products or skincare products or anything like that. Um, if we can find the information that we're seeking from everywhere else because we know the companies lie, you know? Anyway, um, so I've been playing around with this name. I've, I've tried quite a few, like I, I went through probably about, oh, 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 there has to be dozens of names that I was playing with. And I was trying to find something that was semi-unique, um, but not so unique that it was weird, so to speak. And I was thinking, well, I could go with the whole, you know, Australian theme of Yeah Nah, because it's something that I say quite frequently when I'm talking. Um, if you guys don't know what Yeah Nah is, it's, it's an Australian slang that we use when we're saying that um, whether we like something or whether we don't, you know, it's, it's just a silly slang phrase. Um, but <laughs> we do it, we use it a lot, you know, whether it's Yeah Nah or Yeah Nah Yeah. Um, Google it, trust me, you'll see it somewhere there in the Urban Dictionary, it'll make sense to you once you read it, but, um, and, yeah, I just thought, well, <sighs> I do try a lot of beauty products, skincare and cosmetics, some of them are yeah and some of them are nah, so, I thought, why not? Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, you guys know my name is Tanya, and, um, uh, I like the channel and I like the new channel name, and I hope you guys too, and, um, yeah, so um, other than that, not really a lot's been going on. I'm still trying to work on this whole camera lighting situation. Obviously, you can see that I don't have my normal background. I'm finding that the background that um, I purchased for recording is quite dark, and I have to have a lot of light just to bring it up like that. And it's not that colour in real life. Like, in real life, the colour of my backdrop is like a teal. But it's coming off as a navy blue in the background, really, really dark, unless I blast it with lights, which tends to wash me out. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. And I've been watching a lot of other channels lately who've just been a little bit more relaxed and comfortable and they've got backgrounds with all their favourite stuff and um, I watch a, a chick called um, Teresa is Dead and she's a hoot, like she's freaking funny as hell. And you know, she's got all the stuffed teddies behind her and her horror themed stuff and I love that. I'm a horror fanatic myself, I'm obsessed with Chucky and just... Freddy and you name it, I love all that sort of stuff and I would love to display all of my, you know, my toys and stuff like that but the reality is is that I'm a mum and I live in a house with six other people, most of them kids, and you know it's hard for me to have my own personal space so I've got to deal with something that's a little bit more compact so I can't, I can't right now have the setup that I really really want and that I intend on having a little bit later and at least until we move which is another challenge in itself right. Um, so for now I've just got to deal with a very very small space, I'm talking about Ooh, the length of, uh, it's probably about a metre and a half in length um, and not even a metre wide the space that I've got and everything's got to be put away once I'm done. So um, 
yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, and, and that's why I can't necessarily get out as many videos as I'd like to get out. Um, you know, it's the time, it's juggling, um, you know, when the toddler's in bed, and it's just, yeah. But it's something that I am working on, and the camera quality, as I said before, is something that I'm trying to work on as well. I've got my eye on this camera that I really, really want, except, you know, money. So, um, and even the quality of products, like, I, I do still want to do... Um, affordable makeup and everything on my channel but I also would like to dabble in some of the other stuff as well you know to be able to do a, a pretty good comparison against you know brands and stuff like that and because for myself too because I really want to I want to see the difference um and in talking about that I've been trying a few different things I um in my last skincare video that I spoke to you guys about, I used the Ordinary Buffet Serum, which I can tell you right now I love. And I notice the difference when I'm not using a serum underneath my moisturizer, um, particularly because I do have dehydrated, I have eczema prone, I have dry, sensitive skin. Um, and I never, I've never looked after my skin the way that I should. And since I've started looking after my skin, my eczema doesn't flare up. Um, it's night and day, you know. Uh, I don't even have like... Um, a lot of the dark spots so what I've done was is that the buffet serum is $24 um, Australian and that's fine and it does last a little while um, especially if you're only using it once a day like me but for me it's still just that little bit more expensive considering that almost every other serum that the ordinary company have um, that I've seen available in Priceline and, uh, and all that are around about the 12 to $15 mark and I thought, well, I, I wanted to give the hyaluronic acid, um, hyaluronic acid? Yeah, I believe it's the hyaluronic acid. Just give me a second. Yeah, the hyaluronic acid um, serum a bit of a go and see, make a bit of a comparison. And I can't give you my overall thoughts on how, what I think of that yet because I'm only on day three. Um, I can tell you that I love the Buffet Serum at $24 or $25, and um, I will pay that if I have to, but I wanted to see um, whether this Hyaluronic Acid Serum could be just as good as that one. And, um, hmm, I'll let you know how I go. I just want to give it a little bit more time. I, I gave the uh, Buffet Serum at least two weeks before I really reported how I felt about it. I knew pretty much with about a week's time how I felt about it, but I do have a ton of videos that I want to get up. And um, so I think that I might actually give, instead of giving that a week, um, I might give it two weeks and then, you know, try and get that video up for you um, to compare the two and um, see how we go there. But for the time being, I have a ton of other videos that I've got to get around to doing, but bear with me. Everything's everything's slowly working. I've just spent the last three days trying to change all of my social medias and the battle with like Facebook because um, obviously uh, the page that I created was off my regular Facebook page. It wasn't my actual one but you know you can make a page off that and it was my name and um, although I was promoting beauty and skincare and everything like that they didn't like the idea that um, my name in their opinion didn't dictate what it was that I was posting which is which is a crock because obviously I mean, yeah no nah, beauty beauty's in the name so um, I'm disputing that at the moment um, uh, but all the socials are there it's just uh, my Facebook one Although you can look me up at Yenna yeah, Beauty, it still will say um, my full name. So, yeah. Um, otherwise, uh, the only thing that I had to start fresh was my Twitter? Yeah, my Twitter. So my Instagram account is the same Instagram account. It's just had the name changed. Um, my Facebook one is still the same. I'm just in the process of getting the name changed there. Um, my YouTube channel, obviously same but name change and my Twitter is a brand new Twitter one so I'll leave that up here there for you to be able to see and to be able to get to and um, I'll have the other one back to my normal Twitter. Not that I use Twitter that much, look to be honest with you guys Twitter I don't invest all of my time in Twitter. Twitter at the moment is pretty much I just link um, my videos up there for anyone who's interested. I focus most of my attention on um, YouTube and Instagram and occasionally Facebook. So sort of like that order. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. So um, yeah, if you're interested, go check out all of those. And um, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Not Instagram, if you're already following me on that. I mean, follow me everywhere if you'd like. But um, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already followed me before. Because um, that one, yeah, you'll get updates with that one. Um, I'm not using the other one anymore. Other than that, what else were we going to talk about? Ah, 
I got my Carla Pop order. Now, keep in mind that um, half of my order is my cousin's, and I'm not going to be able to show you a couple of the items because I feel that that would be rude, but I own one of the items, so I'll be able to show you that, and the other ones I'll just show you pictures. So, um... My cousin and I decided that we were going to go halves in a Colourpop order because in Australia you have to spend 70 Australian dollars, yes, yeah, 70 Australian dollars, roughly, um, to get free postage and I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to, I don't want to spend $15 on a postage for no reason, like, not when I can use that $15 and receive an item, so I would rather, you know, have somebody go in and, and get it now. It's quite particularly hard for me to get products like that because I don't know a lot of people who are comfortable with internet purchasing. So I was really wrapped when my cousin decided that she wanted to, you know, jump in and um, and then we wouldn't have to pay for the postage costs. So some of the things that I got is probably not going to excite you. Now I've I've received ColourPop order before and I um, I went a very colourful purple palette and um, the Bell um, lipstick, which. I Freaking love. Um, it's it's my all time hands down favorite lipstick. So at the moment, um, so yeah. So I thought I needed something that I needed something that I can use with other palettes. I needed something kind of plain Jane. So I brought the ColourPop Fame palette. So I'll whip this bad boy out. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's their well. They're saying that it's their um, first ever total cool tone palette so that's what she looks like there um it looks pretty boring to be honest with you in the viewfinder but i will i will make a swatch video of this i will do a fast and a slow swatch video so if you're interested stay uh on the lookout for that because this is absolutely gorgeous and i'm going to be able to do a lot of one and done um uh looks with this but I'll also be able to marry this up with the other palettes that I do have and I'm looking forward to that. So the other thing that I purchased on top of that was a Super Shock Shadow in the colour Frog. The funny thing about this was is that I've not tried any of their Super Shock Shadows, right? And I was just trying to figure out, to be honest with you, I wanted a one and done shadow. And I knew I'd probably get some in the press shadows with the Fame palette, but I just wanted to try something. I just wanted to try their formula. And so I was following a post on Instagram and everybody kept on going on and on and on and on and on about the frog. So <laughs> I thought, oh well, I'll give it a little look. I'll actually swatch this one for you. So um, it's not... It's not something that I would normally consider a one and done shade, but it is freaking beautiful. So that's what she looks like there. Got a little swatchy poo. And um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. Yeah, you might not be able to see that. It's like a pinky. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. Bugger. It's a, it's this I don't know, it's got peach tones in it, like it's pinky and it's got all this um, really shimmery, you're not going to be able to see that either are you? All this shimmery glitter, maybe I can, yeah, my lighting's not great at the moment guys, I do apologise, but it is definitely beautiful and I am definitely going to try and wear it. Um, I don't think it's going to be a one and done shade, but it could be definitely interesting to marry up with some of the um, the other eyeshadow palettes that I've already got. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, I'll keep going on with what I've got and then I'll discuss what my cousin brought. Um, I brought two liquid lips. One of them is an ultra glossy lip in Wolfie. And um, I brought this one because it was one that sort of... It's out of my comfort zone, I want to say, but it's the one that sort of stuck out the most for me as being like the most unique because it had... It, depending on which angle you were on... Um, <laughs> It looked different, yeah. So it doesn't do it justice in the um, in the in the tube. But the thing is, is the one thing I absolutely hate about this because I've already tried it on. I had to, was it has this really stiff bristle brush type applicator, and I'm like, eh, it's not like those spongy doe foot applicators that you see in the other ones. And what I'll do is. I'll actually try this one, alright? So, it's very difficult for me to use this thing, so give me a minute. It's so unique.
Mm. So, on the lips, it looks like it has purple tones in it, right? Like this plummy, let me have another look. Yeah, it's got this sort of plummy, um, purpley tone to it, right? Like a plum. Well, that's what I said, isn't it? Ugh. It's got like this purple tone to it, right? But it's also got like this kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. Like, it's got like a copper colour that comes through as well. So on different sort of angles, I don't think that... I'm not going to be able to do this justice because the lighting is really, really terrible in here. But it's absolutely beautiful, like, to, to wear it. Yeah. It's not something that I would particularly wear most of the times, but I, th I saw it and I thought, oh, no, I'm going to have to try this one. And this was the, um, yeah, the ultra glossy lip. I really should have brought a, um, a matte lip because, as you guys know, I do plan on doing um, makeup versus food series soon. And the only reason why that hasn't started yet, guys, is because I don't have enough liquid lips yet. I, I want to have at least, at least six before I start doing the series because... I'm not made of money. I know I'm, I'm on the lower end of finances. Um, you know, kids first, that's what I always say. And um, I don't want to sort of start it and then be stuck because I can't afford, you know, a different sort of lipstick, uh, liquid lip. And um, so I want to have at least six in front of me so I've got six videos lined up so then I can save up to buy some more. Especially um, if um, we're talking about higher end ones and stuff like that because I'm not just going to have to deal with the higher price but I'm going to have to deal with the postage as well because my town, it doesn't have half the things that I would like it to have, so I'm, I'm not living in a city, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the unfortunate part. But anyway, <laughs> moving on, I will get to that. I did not buy the matte. Most of the liquid lips that I do have are mattes. Um, but if I don't get a matte in the long run, I will probably try this... Um, this glossy lip, or I will try, and probably not this one, but I've also got an ultra, uh, an ultra blotted lip, and um, they can come off a little bit matte-like, a little bit drying, and um, as well, this one is in the shade Soda Pop, and I don't have a wipe to wipe this off, so maybe I'll just give this one a little bit of a, a swatch um, on my arm for you guys to see. It's sort of, I don't even know what colour that is. It's sort of like a, another mauve sort of, maybe I can do a better one. Yeah, I'd, I'd call that sort of like mauve. Mauve-y, bricky sort of colour. I've got lipsticks in that shade. I'm comfortable wearing that. Really don't mind. And I do like that blotted lip um, look that I've seen with a lot of the um, Colourpop lipsticks on other people. So I thought that would be a colour that I'd be able to wear very comfortably. So, like I said, if I don't get a matte formula from Colourpop, I'll try one of these two. Or maybe I'll even try both of these. So, um, we can see how we go there. Um, what else? So, that's... That's everything that I received. Now, my cousin also brought um, a liquid lip, and to be honest with you, I can't even remember what what shade she got. <sighs> Give me a minute, have a look at my phone, because I got the order on here. Alright, I think she got a lip gloss. Yeah, she got, she got the liquid uh, lip called Blowsy from the Brown Sugar range. So I, I do believe that that's a lip gloss. The other thing that she got, she brought two palettes and I actually own one of these. So she brought the It's My Pleasure palette, which is the purple palette, and I freaking love this. I love this palette, guys. It has some phenomenally beautiful, unique shadows. They're not all purple. They do have purple tones to them. But the formula in this is so fun. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't seen my video on it, I do have a fast swatch video. I do have a slower one where I talk about it a little bit more. I'll leave a link up there for you. Go and check that out. But I absolutely love that one. And um, with that one, she also brought the pink one, which I believe is the Ooh La La. Yeah, Ooh La La palette, which is the pink one. I'll leave a picture up here for you. Um... I think there's enough pink in this purple palette for me. I'm not massive. Plus, I've got this frog one, which is clearly pinky, peachy sort of toned. Um, I'm more into the, like, the, uh, what do you call them? Mm, not silver, but, like, um, taupey. Like, the Fame palette, pretty much. I love these kinds of colours. Um, I just don't know what you would call them. Um, 
Dazzle is absolutely gorgeous. I'll actually show you a swatch of Dazzle. Dazzle's this, uh, this one right here. And um, I know the light's not going to do it justice, guys, but here you go. So, I love that. I mean, it's pretty simple. It looks a little bit coppery, but um, yeah, I just absolutely love that. It's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we got from ColourPop. And I, oh, God, pretty much as soon as we made that order, the next day, or if not hours later, they brought out the... Um, the blush and highlighter sticks and I'm not normally a huge fan of the idea of using sort of stick formula with anything but I've come to find out that with my dry skin um, cream sort of products are probably better to use for me than powder products and I was so devastated because they had like three packs and although I'm not a huge fan of the way that they mix those up I probably would have brought one of them um, I I definitely would have brought at least three, whether it was the pack or whether it was three individuals. Um, but some of those were absolutely gorgeous. I would have brought two um, blushes and one uh, highlighter because, damn, they were gorgeous. And I've never really tried the formula, um, stick formula, from anywhere. So it would have been nice to try that instead of using powder products. But I was a little bit too late. So Colourpop are always doing that too. You know, you order something and the next day they're bringing out something else. So slow down, guys. So, um, yeah, pretty much that's what's been going on here. And, um, yeah, I mean, I've already been talking for 22 minutes. I don't really think that you guys want to hear me gas bagging anymore. But um, how are you guys doing, you know? Um, how's life treating you? What have you been up to? And um, let me know down below. And, um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. I mean, I'm hoping to get up another video in the next couple of days something a little bit more substantial than just like a um you know what's going on in my life sort of thing so um yeah if you guys enjoyed watching please go ahead feel free to give me a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed and you want to subscribe and you want to see more videos i do videos on beauty in general whether that's skincare or makeup um a lot of it is uh, um, affordable makeup at the moment but i do plan on branching out to both affordable and higher end so if you want to see anything else like that, go ahead, click the like button. Um, <laughs> if you want to see anything like that, go ahead, click the subscribe button. But don't forget to click the bell, because if you don't click the bell, you won't get notified every single time I put a video up, and then you'll miss out. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much, and um, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.